Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? As you can see, it is an EDC video pocket dump. There is a few updates. There is one very, very recent update. Like, earlier today type of update. Um, but there is a few little things here and there that we tweaked and updated. So you are gonna get a look at the pocket dump as we enter the summer months here. I know the summer months have been kind of here. I believe. Is it summer already or is it? Yeah, I think Summer King. I'm not 100% sure now. Anyway, so we have all the new stuff. We have the, not all new, but we have a few new things for you to take a look at. Before you, we get into all that, though, remember to hit that like over here. Come over here, hit that subscribe. So you get those two marks up on top. And when the new videos come out, you are made aware of the videos. So you're able to watch them because I know you want to. And when you hit that like, you let YouTube and everybody know how much these videos are, how much you, I mean, how much you like them and how much you appreciate them. So, I'm not going to go in any specific order, but I will mention that it is a new product. Only one of the new thing, well, two of the new things don't have a separate video for them, but everything else does. So if you want to check them out in below, I'll let you know. I will let you know the thing since everything basically has a video. I'll let you know when something doesn't have a video. This way you won't go looking for them. But if you look at an old EDC video, you will see some of this stuff, but not everything. So before it gets too long, let's get into it. Now, um, there's a few things that I am switching back and forth with. So always the knife. We'll, we'll do the knife stuff first and get that out of the way because everybody loves that so much. We have the buck that we cleaned up and sharpened. As you can see, it's nice and shiny still. So I do carry this one sometimes. It's kind of a skeleton frame type of knife right there. And it is, you know, a manual opening, not a, what do you call it? Um, have the little thing there to switch the um, speed and fast opening. So we have that knife as our larger knives that we carry. And of course, we have the K-Bar Dozer right there. I did clean that one up and it has a mark on it already because of course I'm using it. So it got a little bit of a mark there. I'm gonna have to clean that up. It's probably tape or something. So there, that is a frame lock one. And drop that one. And when I do have my jeans on, so you have that little watch pocket. If you're wondering what that little pocket is, is it a watch? It is a watch pocket. I usually carry my little Gerber around. That's for, as you can see, that needs to be sharpened and clean for sure. So you have your Gerber little tiny pocket knife right there with a the little frame lock. I don't think I did a separate video, or maybe I did a video with this in it, and it was with another knife because it's not that much to show about this. And you can take this one apart. It's very it's very similar in the look. Kind of like a smaller version of the buck, if you will. And it does have frame lock like the buck. So we'll put that over there. Now, the main one I carry all the time that I find myself using the most is, of course, the Victoria Knox with the silver, with the key smart clip, the little dang dangle, doggle right there. And it does still have my little fire tinder in there that's been riding in there forever and a day. So you have, you know, if you want to check out all this stuff, you know, toothpicks, tweezers, two blades, the um, scissors, one of the best scissors in the world. So you have all that there. I do have another little knife that usually rides with me too if I don't want to pull out the big Victoria Knox. Because, you know, some people get uncomfortable when you pull out knives. So if they feel uncomfortable, you don't want to make them feel even more uncomfortable. So you just pull out the little Victoria Knox. And you have the little scissors. If you want to cut some paper or clean up, you do have the toothpick and the tweezers on here. I did have to glue the scales on because they came off. And I didn't feel like going to get the scales for this little thing. It's almost as much as just buy the damn knife then. Um... It does have that little blade and then the little file with the little screwdriver. So that is it for the knives. Well, basically, there's one other thing, but we'll see. And now, 
I've been carrying now, and you can see the separate video on this, this little flash right here, this little torch flashlight, whichever you want to call it. It is a simple flashlight, not, you can't focus the beam or anything, and a little clicky on the back, which I love. And no more of that taped up silver uh, duct tape notebook. I have this one. It's just a regular field notes. It has the grid on it and all that. It's just a field notebook. Holds up amazingly. Very good. And I love it. Um, that is one of the new features. There's no video for that. And of course, if you have to write in there, we have the Spacer, Sp Fisher space pen right there. That this folds out. That's usually a normal state in my videos. And of course, I'm trying to find the other one over here. Okay, maybe I didn't take it out. Probably didn't. I have another ring. I didn't take it out of the little box. I thought I did. But I have my wedding ring. You know, if you're a married guy, you're going to have your wedding ring. So that will be on my person as well. And usually... I put on some bracelets, which is just this metal bracelet and this little bracelet right here just to be different. Um, and, of course, the new one. And there is two videos going to be up for this one. That is my little Amma Fit Band 5, which is really good to keep track of your health and all that fun stuff. And, oh, oh see? The other ring was under stuff. I have this little ring with the little cutouts in it. I actually have someone thought it was a Tom Ford. It's not. It's just a cool ring with a lot of cool cutouts, and I really like it. It doesn't really do anything, the cutouts in it, but it is a cool ring, and I like, really, really like wearing it. And I got a little money clip here. I almost ripped my bills there. I don't have a ton of money. Everybody uses cards nowadays anyway, so it does have that little feature right there. You can take out your little razor knife if, if you don't want to take out the other knives to cut your boxes. And as you can see, as the dust falls out of it, it does need a cleaning from sitting, well, not dust, but lint from sitting in the pocket. So that will be holding my kosh in my pocket and holding my cards. And I'm not going to take anything out of this because my real cards are in it is this little, it's not a real um, Ridge wallet. It's an imitation type one. It's got a little tool thing in there. I guess I could pull out the tool thing and show you guys. So I will to pull out the tool thing that comes with it. And I'm just gonna put the wallet and it does have a band around it. So you can, um, you know, put some money in that if you wanted to. And it came with this little tool thing that has little wrenches and bottle openers and all that fun stuff. We're running a little lengthy here, so let me kind of speed it up. Also, by my notebook in my back pocket, I have my little medical kit with all its little stuff in here. It did change the um, plastic thing that it was in. So there we have that. Um, we have a little lighter from Walmart. This little thing got beat up. It actually... Got stuck in the washing machine one day, so I forgot it in my pocket. And then we have our little drawer, the door grabber. I guess you could grab drawers and stuff, and it has a little pointy thing on the front if you gotta punch some buttons on the little um, uh, what you call it, credit card machine. I did put some, a little bit of what you call it, paracord on the back because it kind of digs into your hands especially if you're picking up a heavy door and if you want you can just clip it to your keys or your knife or whatever so it does have a plastic night eyes s beaner and with the keys you can check out the video below the unboxing of this one over here for my i do drive a nissan so it is kind of a cool little case for it so you don't beat the heck out of your keys and get them all damaged and mess up and i do have the rescue thing that cuts the seatbelt and breaks the window over here and then my little lanyard that is the same the lanyard the other new addition is my strange things keychain that i'm going to put on right there the little pizza tr truck the little i think it's a volkswagen pizza hut from stranger stranger things i'm sorry stranger things right there 
got that at Target when we picked up the Transformer and the other video if you want to check that out. And with the watches, I've been going through four different watches, three of them for work, rotating them, and one for going out with the family. This is not charged right now. Oh, yes, it is charged. I'm sorry. It is charged as a Citizen Echo Drive, and it's got this really, like, chain mail. I forgot what the exact name for it. Band. This is really, really nice. Really cool looking. I really like that. I got my Invictor over here. It has the turning bezel and all. It's a bulky watch if you want to have that bulky watch on. And then I have the Invictor little um, automatic watch. As you can see, I haven't worn it in a couple of days. I don't think I wore this one this week. I think I wore these two this week. Anyway, as you can see, it's not charged because it is an automatic. And it does have that Seiko movement inside. And all these watches have separate videos on the channel if you want to check out some of these watches and in-depth look at them it is an automatic so that one's cool and then when i'm out with the family because it was a present from them my invictor um venom watch right here that's usually the one i have on when i'm out and about and not at work because pretty much you know when you kind of get dressed up for work uh it's not too suited for work i guess you could wear it for work but i don't and my crown is untightened here because it is waterproof so you want to make sure your crown is tightened so no liquids get in there so there you have it people my pocket dump my personal on carry if you will thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it. and guys have a great great day okay